Hey everyone, uh, earlier today, I took a little video of Lexi at the end of the things just to kind of check on her, and um, she's been in my son's room for a week, just kind of laying on the, on the blanket, like she, she normally likes to be near me, but uh, she finally come up onto my bed. And uh, it's okay, baby. You don't have to get up. Just stay comfy. Um, she can normally jump on my bed. But she wasn't able to do that this time. Um, she's so skinny. Like, I don't think she's eaten or drank. I don't think she's left that bed. <laughs> Except, uh try to get on my bed. She climbed her way up here. Um, I tried to give her some food. She wouldn't take it. Tried to give her some water. She wouldn't take it. So I think she's pretty close. And she chose me. She chose that she was going to fight her way to the top of my bed. I called my aunt and said, what should I do? And she said, well, she's, if she doesn't seem to be suffering, just let nature take, take its course. So I figured it was high time. I did a story on Lexi, a.k.a. Pretty Girl. So we had a cat named Fergus that had passed and I had a little bit of cash on me and I wanted some ragdoll cats and this lady said she was selling them. Now I knew when we showed up and this is not a ragdoll and Butters is not a ragdoll but I didn't care. I thought Butters was cute. And I thought Lexi was a kitten. Like, we knew Butters was a kitten. He acclimated real quick. But Lexi took some time. Um, her whole life, she's been skittish. Like, you open a soda bottle and she's off like a firecracker. Um, for a long time, she was queen of the cats at our first house. She's gone a lot of places with me. Um, I thought she was probably around five months old when I got her. But when we got her home, I knew she wasn't a kitten. And she never got any bigger. So we're not sure how old she is. And uh, Over the last 12 months, she's had to go in and get cysts removed that we're, uh, you know, we're talking 400 bucks each time. Um, and um, she used to hide under the bed and I'd go, pretty girl, pretty girl, to get her to come out. I was the only person she really liked. And, uh, you know, she's no. She spent most of any time she's been with me. She's been near me. Um. You know, now we know Butters was a kitten, and Butters is like at least eight years old. So she's somewhere around nine or ten, and um, didn't get her fixed until she was probably around six years old. Which, if you have a female, you should get them fixed early because it, it, not getting them fixed increases their chances of cancer. Um, this girl, I used to... If your hand was out of the bed while you were sleeping, she would work her head under your hand. Like, when she wants petting, you give her petting. She's going to take it. Like, if she can find your hand, she's going she's gonna to run her head under it. 
It's what she does. Or did. Um, I really don't think she's got long. And I don't think she's suffering. Her nose is still wet. Um, but I know she's lethargic. And I think the main reason why she left my bed in the first place was because Lemon probably bullied her away. Um, Beezy and her get along well. She's always gotten along fairly well with any cats we had. Uh, Tuffy, though. Tuffy was her man. I've got so many pictures of her and Tuffy laying around. And, you know, she's light. And he was dark. He's dark. So they would look like a yin-yang symbol laying together. But then sometimes <laughs> she'd chase him through the house. Like we're talking fur flying. And this cat, you know, you go put Tuffy in a, in a room. And Lexi would just be pacing outside the door like, I ain't done with you yet, sir. Like, I'm guessing he was looking at some other female or something, you know. Um, I've honestly, I mean, I've had so many cats in my life. So many. And I've, I've never lost one. To just natural causes. I mean, I've scraped. When we used to let them go outside, I've scraped them off the road and buried them. My whole life, you know, just a, a cat would disappear. Or a dog would get a hold of it. You know, and, and this is <laughs> 46 years on this planet. And this is the first cat I've ever lost that's just withering away. And I'm surprised. I'm, I'm, I'm so emotional about it because I always felt like she's not my favorite cat. But now I'm like, she's always, she's always been nearby. She's always let me know that I'm the most important person to her. She's always wanted to be wherever I was at. She's loved me since day one of me getting her. And, um... I know that I don't have a lot of money, never have, but she's never gone hungry. I've always had cozy places for her to lay. Like under my bed right now, there's a suitcase with a blanket on top of it. That's where she like she likes laying under the bed. So I've always given her places to lay under the bed so she could just kind of hide out. But when I'd whistle, <laughs> she'd come because she figured out that that's what I was doing for another cat. So she understands. <laughs> you know, the other cats don't come when I whistle King of the Road. <laughs> but she does. <laughs> the others have their own things, but she always knew that if she heard King of the Road being whistled, that meant she was going to get some petting. So today, I'm giving her everything because I think, I think she made her way in here to me because she knows. I think she knows. And her suffering's almost over. But I wanted to memorialize her. 